It's the brightest OLED TV ever. Seriously. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the all new LG G2, and I think this is the most impressive OLED TV yet. So of course, I'm gonna tell you about all the new details and a little bit about why this is the brightest OLED ever. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget that bell icon so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Lots of great stuff on the way. Believe me, I know. And here is your question of the day. What was your life-changing TV? The first one you saw that truly blew you away. For me, it was when OLED first released. So to give you a little background on OLED TVs as a whole, Sony technically came out with the first ever OLED panel in a TV product in 2007, but it was LG in 2013 that changed the TV market as we know it with the OLED lineup that has evolved into what we know today. And now with the G2, we arrive at what is now the brightest OLED yet. Where I'm going with this is that if you really want to squeeze the most lifelike detail out of any given image and reproduce it on a screen, you need to be able to hit certain levels of brightness, as brightness is directly correlated with color accuracy. Now let's get into the feature set and I'll talk to you about what's actually going on in this panel to push the envelope. All right, so the feature set of the LG G2. I'm not gonna get too into the weeds with this, but I'm gonna talk about the things that I think are most important to you, the end user, and give you a little bit more meat and potatoes on how this panel works, because I think this stuff is exciting. This is the new OLED EX panel by LG. So in this new EX panel, LG's done some tweaking to the individual pixel structure in each and every one of these itty bitty little pixels. Some of the other great features packed into this TV beyond that incredible EX panel is gonna be LG's latest processor generation. This is their Alpha 9, but it now it is the Gen 5. With each passing year, LG keeps refining the Alpha 9, increasing its power and its adjustments to the overall picture you see on the screen, as well as with the software that comes with the TV. And in my opinion, LG's TV software has always been among the best. The WebOS ThinQ software is just aptly named thin Q. It's relatively out of the way. It does what you want it to do. And it's unlike some others, it just doesn't feel as clunky or as clouded full of things. And it runs really well on this TV. In the LG TVs, you have picture options like super resolution or MPEG noise filtering, which allows you to better maybe a not so good looking image. Though generally on really good content, like if you're streaming in 4K, which is pretty respectable nowadays, or you better yet, you have a 4K Blu-ray player or even something like a Kaleidoscape, turn all that off because you're fine. But the features are there and they work well. And then of course, we gotta talk about that this is the G series TV, the gallery design. And this year, I think it looks better than ever. It now has this sweet silver bezel on the outside that is still really, really thin, but it works well since you had to add just a touch of thickness to this TV to accommodate the new heatsink. And LG actually made that work out to their advantage, I think, in the design of this TV. And just like the previous gallery models, this is what these are known for, it comes with its own wall mount that makes this sit absolutely positively flat flush to the wall like a painting hung perfectly. So what is the experience of watching an LG G2 actually like? Well, I am in a really good position to tell you about that since I actually bought one. Movies on this TV look phenomenal. Again, that OLED perfect contrast just gets me every time. That I'd not even go as far as to say that color has improved a little bit on the G2 even over my previous G10. Overall, it's just an improvement through and through. And as far as my experience goes, I think the game optimizer is a huge feature for anyone who cares about things like that, like me. Seeing how they implemented that here and the difference it makes to that experience is phenomenal. If you're looking for what I think is probably about the best experience that you can have in TVs right now overall, unless you have a use case where you do need an exceptionally super bright TV, this is the ticket. I think it might be the best all around performing TV in just about all the categories when you factor everything as a whole currently available. So if you want the best there is, and I believe it's currently this, 
Click the link down below, go to skybygramophone.com, and you can get fast and free shipping straight to your door after a secure checkout. And of course, come by one of our showrooms. We have G2s on display. Come see them with your own two eyes and know the difference that these incredible TVs can make. And of course, you can find our showrooms in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. We also have a lovely kitchen design center in Hunt Valley. All right, my friends, you know what's up. Please give this video a like if you had a good time today and thought that this was useful for you. Comment down below and chat with me. I wanna hear what you think and I wanna hear what you want to see. And of course, don't forget the question of the day. As always, be seeing you on an OLED TV.